Magnum keeps a certain amount. I mean, they they have archives of their own, but I don't think they would want the detail that I have of George's. But uh, um, I always feel that they're very important and very historical. I had to keep a record of all his work, so we made out a story list. 1947 was when Magnum started. And so George's story list begins with his first story that he did with Magnum. And those early stories, 1947, 48, 49, they all, they're all still selling today uh, because they're early Africa and they're quite historical. I've got a box full of Cordifan prints that have come back from various uh, uh, printings of one time or another. I rather like these two. This is the front and the back. <laughs> Actually, I said George doesn't pose photographs, but he did pose these two because he just couldn't help it. They were so funny. They were standing there looking at him while he was taking the wrestlers. And uh, he said, they looked so sober and all of that. And then, he said, and, uh, and then he said, well, smile. And then he said, turn around. So we have had a very grueling but interesting time in Cordofan. There, probably, Africa is about at its rawest. Among some of the remoter tribes of the Nuba, there is no vestige of what we call civilization 